What's up guys and welcome to tutorial 17. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about procedures and functions. And this is where we get into the um, advanced parts of Visual Basics if you want to say that. Um, it's not that hard really. It's just a hard concept to get it first if you're not familiar with the programming in general. And it'll be very hard to figure out why it's useful for the first couple minutes of explaining it. Now we're going to get started with testing uh, procedures and functions and the first thing we're going to test is a procedure. Now basically what a procedure is, well a type of a procedure is going to be our sub procedure and we're going to type sub and basically what this means is it declares the name and it pretty much says that this is going to be a sub procedure and you'll understand what this is in a minute and after you type sub which is just the keyword to tell the Visual Basics machine that it's going to be a sub procedure and now that we're going to type the name of the sub and this is probably going to be um, remind user and the reason why I'm naming it like this uh, remind user is because we're going to make this sub remind a user of a doctor's appointment or anything like that and it's not really all that um, fancy and we're going to hit enter and what it'll do is it'll put parentheses um, after remind user and it'll add in sub and what in sub means is just ends this it's saying end your sub procedure and basically we're going to get in the next tutorial what um, parameters are in a sub procedure um, don't you don't have to worry, know what that word means right now and we're going to work on adding um, we're going to work on by reference and by value all that good stuff you'll understand that soon uh, now we're going to say message box dot show and then we're going to type you have a doctor's appointment Saturday and we're going to name this I'm not sure if that has two P's or what but anyways now we're going to um, type, we're going to just click form load and basically what this is saying, um, whenever the form loads do this and now you're saying okay well we have this code how do you launch this code I mean it's not just going to launch itself now we're going to learn how to call a sub procedure and this is going to be call remind user and what this basically means is do what's inside this procedure and this is going to say message box it's going to do everything inside this for the message box and it's just going to say you have a doctor's appointment Saturday now um, the reason you have to call it is just the, um, it doesn't automatically start like form load this does not um, the procedures do not automatically start up whenever the form is loaded and you have to call a procedure when you need it. Now you're asking why is this useful? Well just think if, if we were building this huge program and we want to just make it much more clean and we just didn't want to say you have a doctor's appointment um, we need a comma here we don't want to say you need a doctor's appointment this day and that day and this day and that day um, we could just uh, use remind user to um, tell what day the doctor's appointment is now the, you're saying well I can't really change the day that I wanted to um, have a doctor's appointment well we're gonna learn how to do that when we learn about parameters and stuff and basically what we'll do is we'll enter a value between this it will say like um, string equals Saturday above this and then we'll um, put a little thing right here that'll change whatever whatever you change in here but that's for another tutorial this is just saying how you call them and how you create a sub procedure now we're going to move into functions and this is one this one's a little bit more complicated than a procedure and i'm going to go ahead and delete these two and we're going to learn how to create a function and basically you just type function and then you type the name of your function and we're going to say um no, not an appointment. Ice cream. And the reason why I name it like this, ice and then a capital C cream, it's not really how you can name how you have to name stuff, but 
I'm used to programming in a bunch of languages. Whenever you're typing a big um, name, when you're naming something, you type like um, start up this. You type it like that instead of where it's a lot harder to read, as you can tell. If you can, well, that's hard to read because my cursor's in the way. Anyways, we're gonna um, name this ice cream, not ice cream, and then we're gonna hit enter. Now, basically, what this does is it. Um, is this is saying the same thing as in sub, but this time it's ending your function ice cream game, which means the code stops here. Now the reason we're getting this little squiggly line here is because a function returns a value. That's that's where the difference in a sub and a function comes in. And the reason why you need to return a value is basically um, in Visual Basics you want to return if you're saying like if you declared this you want to return a value um, basically let's call this ice cream this will make sense for you in a minute and we're going to type return um, int guess and then we're going to declare this this will make a whole lot of sense to you in a second Okay, now we're we're gonna go ahead and make a label on here really quick. And we're gonna name this label output, and then we're gonna make this blank. Now, what this is basically saying, we're declaring int guess, and then this function is going to return the number that int guess is equal to now what it means by return is just whenever you call this which you don't have to say call whenever you're doing a, um, a function whenever you call this it's going to give you a value and what this value is is ice cream and we're going to say the output label is going to be equal to ice cream and let's, we're going to go ahead and debug this and what you should get is 5 because this returns a value of 5 because we said int guess equals 5. And that's pretty much all in functions and procedures for this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we're going to be learning about what by val and by reference or by ref will learn what they mean in that tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, and that is all for this tutorial. Goodbye.